Okay, let's solve the question number four. The question number four is given here. Uh, use Schaeffer's lemma. To find the production function that corresponds to the cost function. That is C of R1 plus 2 root over of R1 R2 plus R2, okay, into Q. And demonstrate that that it is CES, okay. So this is the question. The Question is use Schaeffer's lemma to find the production function that corresponds to the cost function C is equal to R1 plus R2 root over of R1 R2 plus R2 into Q and demonstrate that it is CES. So, so we have to solve this problem. So just wait for a second. So I wanted to verify the question. So this is not root over whole root, but two of root over two of root over one or two plus R2. Okay. So we have to solve this problem. So let's solve it. So Schaeffer's lemma states that the partial derivative of the cost function with respect to the price of an input is equal to the amount of that input used in the production function holding output constant. So this is the statement of Schiffer's lemma. So let's write this state, the statement at first to solve this problem. Okay. So Schiffer's lemma states, Schiffer's lemma. States that the partial derivative uh, of the cost function with respect to the price of an input is equal to the amount of that input used in the production function and holding output constant. So this is a statement. Okay, now let's find the partial derivative of C with respect to R1 as per the given equation. Okay, so let's find <coughs> the partial derivative of C with respect to R1. Okay. So let's differentiate it per uh, Let's uh, find out the partial derivative of this equation, C. Then we will find that delta C delta R1 is equal to delta C delta Q into delta Q delta R1. Okay. So since the production function is homogeneous of degree 1, we have this equation. So since the 
production function is homogeneous of degree one. We have Q is equal to R1 into I'm, I'm using the star marks to denote this multiplication star sign of x1 x2 okay. now taking the derivative of both sides with respect to r1 now the derivative of both sides with respect to r1 we get that delta q delta r1 is equal to f of x1 x2 plus r1 into i'm using again this asterisk sign star sign for this multiple multiplication into delta a for x1 x2 by delta r1 okay so if you differ differentiate this uh, q with respect to r1 partially you can we will get you will get this equation again if you differentiate this uh, using cost function we can find that the delta c delta q part so using cost function we can find delta c delta q that is delta c delta q is equal to r1 plus 2 root over of r1 R2 plus R2. Okay, so what was the, my initial statement? Yeah, it was C is equal to R1 plus root, one, root of R1 R2 plus R2. So using the cost function, we can find delta C delta Q that is equal to R1 plus 2 root over of R1 R2 plus R2. Okay, now putting all together, we get now. Putting all together, we get delta C delta R1 is equal to delta C delta Q into delta Q delta R1 is equal to R1 plus 2 root over of R1 R2 plus R2. Okay, into f of x1, x2 plus uh, r1 into delta f of x1, x2 by delta r1. Okay, okay, let me write it, this equation again in a single line. You find that r1 plus root over of r1 r2 plus r2 into f of x1 x2 plus r1 into delta f of x1 x2 by delta it's two in the actually delta r1 okay so now solving for the f of x1, x2, what we will get? So now solving for f x1, x2, we get f of x1, x2 is equal to delta c by delta r1 minus r1 into delta c delta r1 okay divided by r1 plus root over of 
R1, R2 plus R2. Okay. So this is the um, this is the uh, uh, solution of f of f of x1, x2. Now substituting the cost function, we will get now substituting. the cost function we get f of x1 x2 is equal to 2 of root over r1 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 plus 2 root over of r1 okay so to demonstrate this to, to demonstrate that this is a cs function we have to rewrite this in that manner. So let's go to the next question. To demonstrate that this is a CES production function. We can rewrite it as q is equal to a of x1 to the power alpha plus x2 to the power alpha or to the power 1 by alpha, right? So, where alpha is equal to 1 by 1 plus b and a is equal to and a is equal to 2 to the power. 1 by alpha root over of r1 r2 okay so just a second yeah root over of r1 okay now thus we have shown that the production function corresponding to the cost function is The production function corresponding to the cost function is C is equal to R1 plus 2 root over of R1 R2 plus R2 into Q is a CES. Elasticity of substitution that is a is equal to 1 by 1 plus b, that means we have used here alpha 1 by alpha is equal to uh, sorry, uh, alpha is equal to 1 by 1 plus b, and a is equal to 2 to the power 1 by alpha into root over of r1 okay so this is the solution of the question number four